Mark here from newhometricks.com and today I'm in the kitchen because we've decided to expand our smart lighting setup, our Philips Hue installation, into the kitchen and beyond as you'll see in a few moments. Um, now so far the lights that we've added to the home have been primarily the Philips Hue bulbs um, but today we're going to have a bit of a different uh, spin on things here for the kitchen because we've decided to make use of the Philips Hue LED light strips. We've got a bit of a space above some of the kitchen cabinets around one side of the room and we've decided to install the Philips Hue LED strip effectively as a way of installing a uplighter, smart uplighter, uh, all the way around one side of the room. Now the Philips Hue light strips are pretty interesting. Uh, it's exactly as it sounds, it's a flexible LED strip um, that you can stick down to any surface. So in our case we're going to put this on top of some kitchen cabinets as mentioned, um, but you could put this anywhere, it could be under cupboards, it could be around the back or underneath a bed, it could be around the side of a um, television stand or around the back of a sofa, anywhere really where you want to have a sort of up, down or side lighter uh, to create a nice effect. Now these things are available first of all in a starter pack, uh, a two meter light strip that you can stick down. Um, you can extend this up to 10 meters with the use of one meter extension kits that you can get and these just connect onto the end of the first strip to extend it. You can actually also cut these down to size as well, they're cuttable every um, 33 centimeters I believe to allow you to reduce the length of it if necessary. And once you've installed this and extended it, it just counts as one light in your Philips Hue setup. There's also a couple of other things that we've got um, today. We've got the Philips Hue motion sensor um, which is quite interesting. This is for motion activated uh, lighting in your home. So really starting to get in the direction of uh, a proper smart light setup here with lighting that you don't even need to consciously switch on. It just works automatically. And we've also got one of the Philips Hue white bulb. This isn't the color bulb. This isn't even color temperature changing. This is just the standard white bulb. We've decided to put this in one of the outdoor light fittings that we've got. Now technically, um, the Philips Hue bulbs are not rated or supported for outdoor use, but um, as long as this is kept in a weatherproof enclosure, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. It's just not likely to be supported by Philips as a, uh, a recommended way of installing it. But then again, any kind of outdoor electrical um, connection that you're, that you're using is likely to fall under the same category. No reason why this shouldn't work as long as it's not exposed to extremes of temperature and as long as it doesn't get wet. So as long as you put it in a decent weatherproof enclosure, it should be fine. So what I'm gonna to do today in this video um, is I'm just gonna start by unboxing some of the kit that we've got here because it's stuff that we haven't really looked at before and it's not really similar to any of the other uh, Philips Hue stuff that we've gone through. So I'm gonna start by having a look at that and showing you what's inside the box. So we'll start with the Philips Hue LED light strip, the two meter starter pack. So this is the thing that you're gonna need uh, if you're going to install uh, any kind of LED light strip from Philips into your home, you will need to start with one of these. This comes with the actual light strip and the power connector, whereas the extension leads, they don't have a power connector in the box, it's just for extending this. So let's take a look at what's inside. Um, it's a fairly sleek box, let's just uh, slip the tape and have a look at what's inside here. So, uh, folds open like so, uh, and then if we just lift the flap, so fairly straightforward inside, we've got the actual power adapter, this just pulls out like so, and then because presumably Philips ship these all over the world, you've got an uh, adapter for the UK power connector, presumably you'd get the relevant um, connector for your region wherever you are, so we've got the power connector there, I'll just put that to one side, and then of course we've got the actual light strip itself, so if I just take off the um, Velcro here. I'll take a look at what we've got. That just slips around the back. So this is the actual light strip itself. And as you can see, fairly flexible. Um, it's got some tape on one side that you can pull down to um, stick it down to the surface that you're installing it on. And then there's the actual connector itself on one end that's going to plug into the um, power adapter. So we've got the connector there and then at the other end you can see that there's basically just a connection and that connection is for if you install an extension strip onto the end of this. So I'll put this to one side as well, uh, there's a few other things in here. Uh, right, so this is the actual uh, cable from the uh, that's going to go from the power adapter that we have here uh, through to the light strip. So if you actually look on the top 
of the power adapter, there's just a standard plug there. And if we have a look here, that's where that's going to plug into. And then on the other end of that, you've got the actual brick for connecting this into. So that just connects into there like that by the look of it. And then there's a couple of bits of tape here as well. So this is quite handy because obviously where you might want to install the light strip might be not necessarily right next to a power socket. So having a decent cable on this is, is pretty handy. So Philips have um, thought of that. So that's quite useful. Uh, what else have we got in here? Um, just the obligatory uh, installation manuals, warranty information, that kind of thing. So um, pretty straightforward, really. Uh, I can imagine that this is going to be fairly straightforward to install. Just um, stick it down, plug it in, and then go through the setup procedure inside the app. So that looks fairly straightforward. Let's go and have a look at the extension kit. Okay, so this is the Philips Hue extension kit, and this is a one meter strip. That's what these are available in. So if we open this up, uh, opens up very similarly to the main unit, we'll see the one meter strip inside. So I'll put the box to one side for a moment. So this is a simple one meter kit, and you can see that on the end of the cable here, uh, if I just hold this up a little bit closer, you can see there are some pins. And these for, uh, this, that's for connecting into the actual main strip itself. And then on the other end, there's this effectively a kind of a socket that you can plug another extension kit into if you wish. You can extend the main strip up to 10 meters in length. Another thing that you notice on these uh, strips, if I just show you here, again, I'm not sure how easily you'll be able to see this on the camera, but you can see a little mark here where you can actually cut through the uh, LED light strip and that actually allows you to cut this down to size, and that's every third of a meter, every 33 centimeters, you can cut this down to a shorter length. Well, I suspect there's not gonna be much else in the box here other than, yep, a couple of bits of paperwork, we've got the uh, little installation guide and uh, warranty information here. So we'll just put that to one side, and next up we'll take a look at some of the other um, bits of kit that we got today. So this is the Philips Hue motion sensor. So this allows you to actually activate your lights by motion rather than having to manually turn them on or set schedules for activating the lights. So we'll take a look at this and have a look at uh, what's inside the box. So just slip through the tape here and then we open that up. Uh, as I open up, let's have a quick look. There we go. Let's pull open the flaps, remove the plastic hanger for retail stores. Turn it off. Okay, so opens up like that, and then there's a few little bits of paperwork and a little cardboard cover here, and nothing else inside. So if we just open that out, and there it is. Um, fairly sleek and small. Um, I'll just take this out of the little plastic wrapper here. That's it. Um, nothing really else to this. It's a very, very small box. Uh, you can see the actual motion sensor there. There's what I presume to be a little LED light here, presumably to indicate um, power. And then there's a little tag here, which presumably is currently protecting the battery um, to stop it from being activated when it's actually in the box. So I won't pull that out now. Um, and then on the other side, we've got the obligatory uh, bits of paperwork, guarantee, and installation guides. And we've also got an actual installation kit here. So a couple of screws, a little uh, plastic plug, and then some sort of stopper here, uh, or some sort of plastic component of some kind. Let's have a quick look at what that is. All right, okay, so this is magnetic. So presumably that is actually how that attaches to that. Yeah, so that just hooks onto the back like so. So what we actually see with this is that you would use uh, one of these two screws to actually uh, affix this magnetic holder to the wall and then simply clip that on so it attaches, magnet attaches magnetically um, to the wall. So that's quite a neat uh, installation mechanism. It does require a battery of some kind. Not sure what battery is in here. There's a little uh, screw holding the back in here, so I won't take that off just now, but it'll be quite interesting to see uh, how that all works and how well that works once we've got it added to our Philips Hue system. Um, we're going to try that in a few different locations, maybe here in the kitchen, uh, possibly elsewhere in the house, but uh, obviously in the next video we'll see how that goes. 
Uh, next up, there's another uh, device that we've bought today which I want to show you, and that's for installing outside. So uh, we'll have a look at that next. Okay, so this is the Philips Hue white bulb, and this is for installing, uh, well, this is something we're gonna install outside the home, uh, just next to our front gate. Now, um, as previously mentioned, uh, Philips don't really uh, rate or support their lights for external use, but as long as this is kept weatherproof, I'm sure it won't be a problem. And I've read online that there are others who've used these outside. And as long as they are uh, not exposed to extremes of temperature or as long as they don't get wet, then it's generally fine. Um, now, this is the Philips Hue white bulb, as I say. Um, so this doesn't do color changing. It doesn't do color temperature changing. Uh, it simply allows you to turn it on or off and change the brightness uh, from within your Philips Hue system. So Philips have actually got three kind of uh, ranges within their Hue products. They've got uh, this, the Philips Hue white bulbs. Uh, as mentioned, you can turn them on or off, dim them, that's about it. There's the Philips Hue white ambience range. Uh, that allows you to do everything that these bulbs can do, as well as change the color temperature. So you can have warm white, cool white, and everything in between. Uh, and then there's the white and color ambience range, which also does the color changing, which are some of the bulbs that we've used so far in our bedroom and living room. Um, but for outside the home, a standard white, white bulb will be fine. Um, this is certainly a lot more affordable than the full color changing bulbs. Here in the UK, the full color changing bulb costs about 50 pounds. We were able to buy this white bulb for about 15 pounds, so a little bit more affordable. Uh, this is certainly the option that you'd be going for if you wanted to kit your home out with smart lighting on a budget and you didn't want or need to go for the full uh, range of colour changing bulbs that Philips Hue have on offer. So it's nice that this is available in the range. It's also something that's going to be quite useful in parts of the house where you just don't need um, the full colour changing experience. You know. Uh, areas like um, the landing and stairs areas of the house, that kind of thing. Uh, when you don't want full colour, this sort of thing is perfect. So let's have a look at what's in the box. I suspect it's going to be fairly straightforward, but nevertheless, we'll just uh, cut the tape uh, on both sides here. Any more at the back? No. And we'll just open that up. Put the pen knife away. So open the flaps. Pull this up and over, and that's what's inside on the top there. Just pull that out, and there's the bulb inside the cardboard holder. We just open this uh, out a little bit. Just put that to one side. So you can see that this looks a lot more like a regular LED light bulb compared to the uh, color changing bulbs, the white and color ambience and the white ambience bulbs. This one is less uh, unique in its shape. So certainly uh, very little to distinguish this from a regular light bulb, which uh, for many people can be quite good. And certainly outside the home, um, particularly if the enclosure that you're gonna install this sort of thing into is uh, fairly transparent, you don't really necessarily want uh, a light bulb that kind of screams, I'm an expensive light bulb, because someone could come along and just steal that. Um, so you probably do want for, uh, for outside your home a light bulb that's fairly standard looking, and this certainly is. This is available in two variants, at least here in the UK certainly. There's the Edison screw, which is this one here, and it's also available in bayonet cap as well. Um, the variants available in your market may vary based on where you live. Uh, we'll just put this to one side and have a look at what else is in the box. Uh, so yeah, we've just got the obligatory paperwork, uh, installation information and guarantee. Um, next steps for us are to get all of this installed. We're gonna get this kitted out into uh, our kitchen and the exterior light fittings, have a play around with the light strips and motion sensors. Um, so there'll be various videos coming up about how we got on with that, but in the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.